Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Band of Anime Reactions, and this is my review for Dragon Ball Episode 122. I'm going to try and record as many of these as I can, and obviously label them. That way I can get them uploaded if I can't, you know, uh, record, record anything. I could just sit on my computer for whatever reason. Let me just go on and get rid of the rest of these because I'm already done with them. Anyway, this essentially is the episode that concludes the fight between Goku and King Piccolo. And, yeah, you can kind of predict how this fight will go, where Goku ends up winning. Now, King Piccolo ends up being killed, but he kind of survives on when he sends out one last egg essentially saying it is his son which then what makes the rest of your creations do they are they just minions or are they your kids as well but he sends out one last egg into the mountains before he goes boom thankfully Goku was able to win though at first you wouldn't think he was going to win because well King Piccolo pulled a dirty trick and use Tien as a shield to try and get him to, you know, stop attacking him and essentially give in. Almost worked. Thankfully, Goku managed to get Tien out of there. And while all this is going on, uh, Yamcha and the others show up at a safe distance. Yajirobe does the same, though at a closer distance. And he ends up catching Goku, because Goku essentially is exhausted. And he ends up taking him back to Korn's Tower, because he's obviously going to need to be uh, healed while this is going on. I think uh, Tien ends up picking up Goku's power pole. Or maybe that's next episode. I don't know. Anyway, uh... Yeah, I enjoyed the conclusion. I thought it was the conclusion for this fight, it went well. It showed how much Goku has gotten big, gotten better when it comes to fighting because first fight against King Piccolo, he barely used any of his energy before the fight, and during the fight he was outnumbered he was essentially outmatched. Surviving his fight with King Piccolo and a little ultra divine water later, Goku manages to get on evil even footing with King Piccolo and kill him. I like how that he got that much stronger. But, just because you take out King Piccolo doesn't mean everything's all fine and dandy now, because obviously the others are still dead. What's going to end up happening next? We'll have to see what happens next in the next episode. And I will see you guys next time.